John Lavelle. I need to tell you about a substance. Uh, I don't know what the name of it is, but I can identify it for you. It's, uh, I would refer to it as a, a pink mold. Okay, now here's the point of pink mold. The pink mold will uh, show itself up, show itself in, uh, say, your basement, uh, anywhere where it's um, in the lower parts of your home or garage or a barn or whatever if you ever see pink mold get the hell away from it as fast as you can and you want to hire a company to get that shit out of your uh, place right away and I'll tell you why because that pink mold will destroy your lungs and if you're exposed to it for any uh, length of time uh, you're dead there isn't, a, there isn't a, a drug that will take the inflammation out of your lungs from this uh, mold. Now it's different than any other mold. And I can tell you how you can identify it. It's like a light pink color. It's kind of blobby. Uh, uh, blobby like um, like silly, silly putty. I don't know if you played with that as a kid. But something like that. Uh, it almost looks a little bit wet. But it has little uh, white crystals on top. Uh, like sugar crystals but much larger obviously. And um, that's how you identify it. Uh, it's about as close as I can get to it. It doesn't matter if you find anything pink on your rugs or up in the corner of a rug and a wall. Get the hell out of it. Don't let your kids near. Don't let the pets near. Don't let anybody near. You want to hire a company right away. Get the hell out of the house and get them to get this shit out of your house. Because I'll tell you how long it takes to uh, start to take effect. It'll take effect within hours. And what you're going to end up for the first stage is bronchitis and asthma where you can't tolerate breathing anymore because your lungs are so agitated from uh, the tissue is uh, starting to swell up. If you're exposed to it for like say a day or two, your lungs are just going to close up. You can take Ventolin all you want, you're not going to get your lungs open because the, uh, the body, uh, your lungs won't open up because they're too inflamed and they're too uh, sensitive to even take air in and uh, basically you're looking at death okay I know this I know people who've had this uh, I w listened to a, a girl who worked on a farm and uh, she was working in the silos cleaning them out and she used to see this pink mold uh, this pink stuff I'm describing uh, was little bit. it doesn't have to be very much it can be like one inch across it doesn't have to be something that's you know like five feet across or something anyways there's small deposits of this stuff uh, in this silo and uh, she was working in there and after about uh, a week of working in there uh, she had she was admitted to the hospital with uh, what it was described as serious respiratory problems and uh, if she doesn't work anymore she uh, what she does is she just tries to stay alive that's all she can do because she was exposed to this stuff and it can't be reversed it doesn't come out of your lungs just because you're not there anymore it's there for good it did its job and uh, you have to live with the results if it didn't take it to a point where you're not living with results you're dead so you want to stay as I said if you ever see anything pink a light pink thing, uh, thing with crystals on it. In the lower part of your house, let's say a basement, it's damp because this dampness is what causes it. It's uh, heat exchange when the room gets warm, gets cold, depending on the day and night. This is why barns can get it. Um, get out of the house and hire a company, it doesn't matter how much it costs. You want that shit out of there and you want every inch of that house investigated so there's nothing in there because you don't want your kids dying of this shit and you don't want to die of it. You don't want to lose your pets because you will. That's what I needed to tell you.